Greetings, what up, boys? Shout out to the Lost Boys. Y'all stay intact, all right? So peace, everybody here in the building. Listen to Read BBS. Read BBS. BBS. I was wrong. No two ways about it, I was wrong. But if being wrong about Israel out of Sanya makes me wrong, damn it, I don't wanna be right. I don't wanna be right. Now, I never lost my fandom for the last style bender. I did, however, admittedly lose my faith in him. I lost my faith in him. I didn't think he could beat Alex Paheha. I didn't think he could beat Alex Pereira either. And I was wrong. Hell, the only reason Pereira came to UFC is because he beat Izzy twice in kickboxing. Then he beats him a third time in MMA. So you're 0-3. Two of your losses by KO to this guy. I am, I am admittedly optimistic to a fault. To a fault. But even I couldn't conjure it in this case. 0 and 3, 2 by KO, I just couldn't see it, man. Style bender be damned, though. Style bender be damned. Izzy was very confident, supremely confident, dare I say, irrationally confident, both in his pre fight comments and his ring walk. Here's one of his comments This is now time for my story. He knows he's going to go through the fire with me every single time. Fuck the noise. That's how I've always handled it. I put this pressure on me. There's no past. There's no future. All we have is now. <laughs> it was as if Izzy was facing a guy he was 3-0, two knockouts against, instead of the way it actually was. Now, round one of the fight... Uh, of their second UFC fight, fourth fight overall. Round one was fairly tame. Pereira not as aggressive as usual, probably pacing himself. Uh, they traded low leg kicks mostly. Izzy mixed in a couple to the body. Uh, round two, Pereira was much more aggressive. Before long, Izzy, uh, Izzy was switching stances because of Pereira's low leg kicks. Like it was, it was starting to bother him. And I don't know about the midpoint of round two. Two low leg kicks visibly hurt Izzy, made him stumble into the cage. Now he said afterwards he was playing possum. I don't know. And I say I don't know because when Pereira pounced, he hit Izzy to the body, he landed a knee, and he landed a left hook. I don't know that you want to get touched up to the body, take a knee, and a left hook if you're playing possum. Nonetheless, Izzy uh, quickly and swiftly countered with two flush, clean right hands over the top, which stretched Pereira flat on his back. Y'all saw the picture at the beginning of my video. He added, uh, Izzy added a side order of ground and pound, and just like that, he exercised the demon. Now, Izzy, one thing about him, he's, he's real, he's real, and he's admittedly petty. So with that, soon as he stretched Pereira, he whipped out Pereira's bow and arrow uh, styled celebration thing that he does. Also, as soon as soon as Izzy spotted Pereira's son sitting uh, cage side, the same son that walked in the ring after Izzy got KO'd in the kickboxing match and uh, fell like a chopped tree. You know, fell like Apollo Creed and, and Rocky and Rocky Four. Izzy spotted him and mimicked the same the same thing his son did. And some people want to be like, "Oh, that's the kid." Hey, man, either you love it all or hate it all. The kid shouldn't have done that to Izzy. If, if you want to say that, then the kid shouldn't have done that to Izzy when they were in the in the ring after Izzy got knocked out flat on his back. So payback. Is a motherfucker. And as they say, it ain't no fun when the rabbit got the gun. Everybody cool with it until it affects them. Uh, Izzy's post-fight post speech 
it was uh it was pretty inspirational i can't front it was pretty inspirational words to the effect of uh i hope you can feel this level of happiness just one time in your life you'll never feel this level of happiness if you don't go for something when they knock you down when they try to shit on you when they talk shit about you and try to put their foot on your neck if you stay down you will never get that resolved fortify your mind and feel this level of happiness as you rise that was uh you know some inspirational shit i'm sure it's already a meme now uh that someone is using as the background on their desktop or something it, it, it was cool it was cool i had no problem with it he also said he left uh, Pereira frozen like Elsa. <laughs> all in all, Israel Adesanya shat on the notion that he simply could not beat Pereira. He also solidified his place as one of the absolute greatest mixed martial artists of all times, overcoming his one true, true presumed conqueror. I mean, that, is, that in itself is a testament to greatness. Before I get out of here, shout out to Jorge, Game Bread, Masvidal, Street Jesus. He uh, lost a decision to Gilbert Burns on the undercard. The uh, card was held in his hometown of Miami. And with the loss, Game Bread retired. Hell of a career, Game Bread. Fun watching you. And best of luck in your future endeavors, bro. Read BBS. BBS. Blackbird Sugar, Bachelors in Boxing Studies, Television, Fred Sanford of the Fistic Arts. When all is said and done, there's nothing left to say or do.